And this week, Israel launched a new satellite named AMOS-3. It was built by state-owned Israel Aerospace Industries and is operated by a private firm. The satellite was sent into orbit from a launch site in Kazakhstan. The satellite that we have launched two days ago from Baikonur in Kazakhstan is much more sophisticated than the previous AMOS-1 and AMOS-2. It is used for t- television, for internet, uh, for uh, usual communication. Our satellite has been designed and uh, manufactured by Israel. At the moment we have, I think, uh, nine Israeli-made satellites in space, in orbit. Our entity team in Israel also asked the editor of an Israeli science website to explain the scientific progress made by Israel and to give his thoughts on the future. We are a small country. We, we need uh, the same quality as the biggest. Uh, so we have to be uh, creative and make the satellites, both this one and the other satellites, uh, like Earth observing satellites and others, m- much more efficient. The attempted launch last Thursday had to be delayed for technical reasons. It was a disappointment for the Israeli aerospace industry. They wanted the satellite launch to coincide with the country's 60th anniversary celebrations. Amos 3 is expected to remain in space for 18 years.